Today we are going to be coding the program Rock Paper Scissors Lizard Spock. So all of us have played Rock Paper Scissors at some point and Lizard Spock is an extension of Rock Paper Scissors. It was popularized by the TV show Big Bang Theory. Rock Paper Scissors is simple. The computer chooses one of the items, the player chooses one of the items and there are rules on which item beats which one. So in rock, paper, scissors, rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. With lizard and spock, there are a few more combinations, but the concept is the same. So let's see how this game works. First, we get to choose what we want to do. I'm going to play a rock. I played a rock. The computer played a lizard and a rock beats a lizard, so we win. This time I played Spock, that loses to paper. And finally when we are done, we can quit and the computer will tell us the final score. Alright, so let's code this game. To start with, let's just code the basic rock, paper, scissors. Now there are a number of ways to code rock, paper, scissors starting from the simple way of coding which uses a lot of if then else statements so you can have if the computer chose rock and the player chose scissors then the computer wins and if the computer chose scissors and the player chose paper then the computer wins so you can just basically code all the permutations of inputs but we are not going to do that we're going to try and approach this program from a slightly different way what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of all the winning combinations. So for example, rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. So these are the three winning combinations. Next we need the computer to choose. So what are all the available moves? The computer can choose either rock, scissors or paper. So we're going to derive that list from this list of matchups. We're basically going to take the first element of each of the tuples. So we loop through the above list take the first element of each tuple and that gives us a list of available moves for the computer. Next we ask the player And then the computer gets to choose. And now we need to see who wins. So if both are equal, it's a tie that's easy. Now, what if they are not equal? So what we are going to do is, we are going to check if the tuple player, comma, computer exists within that results list. So for example, if the player played rock and the computer chose scissors, then we would see that the tuple rock, comma, scissors is available in this list and which means that the player wins. But what if the player chose scissors and the computer chose rock, in which case the computer should win. So in that case, scissors comma rock is not there in this list. So we'll come down to the next condition. And this time we'll check if computer comma player is there, in which case the computer wins. And 
Finally, if none of these cases happen, that means the user has inputted something wrong. Okay, now we need to keep doing this until the user has quit. So as long as they don't type quit, we keep playing the game. Now let's keep track of the scores. So when the player wins. Their score increases when the computer wins. Their score increases. Okay, and once they quit we'll print out the final scores. Okay, let's play the game. Okay, so rock, paper, scissor seems to be working fine. Now let's extend this program to also incorporate lizard and spock. So I've got down here all the combinations. We've already done this one, we've done this one, and we've done this one. So we need to add the remaining combinations. So all we have to do is add them down here. So rock beats lizard. Lizard beats Spock. So these are the additional combinations when you play with Lizard and Spock added. And that's it. We don't need to make any other change to our game except we need to change this prompt. Okay, let's give it a shot. And that's it. That's rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spock.